Hi, it's Fabrice from Lab 401 Academy and today we are installing our Proxmark 3 RDV2 on Windows 10. And the first thing that we are going to need is to download the latest files. You can find them at https slash slash www.lab41.com slash proxmark slash drivers slash win32 slash latest. Then you sort by date and you download the latest one. So when it's done, I suggest you to extract the files somewhere where you will remember. Uh, so normally on the drive C uh, folder proxmark. It's making things easy and it's what we are going to use in this video. So after that, we are going to restart our computer. And when we are going to restart, we're going to have to hold the shift key. That's very important. So you hold the shift key and you restart. Then you arrive in that menu, in that menu you will have to click on Troubleshoot, after that then Advanced Options, Startup Settings, then you click Restart, and when you restart you select 7 on the boot menu, Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. So we press 7 and the computer will restart. And then it's going to be time to plug our Proxmark 3 RDV2. After that, we go to Device Manager. So you press Windows key and you type Device Manager. After that, we go on Ports and we select USB serial device on the port where the Proxmark is plugged. Right click, Properties, Driver, Update Driver. Then you select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Then let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. You pick have disk, then you navigate to C Proxmark Windows driver and you pick the Proxmark 3.inf. So you open it, open, okay, next. Then you will click on the install this driver software anyway, and then we are pretty much done. So you can see the Proxmark 3 is installed successfully on the port number 3, the COM3. So congratulations, everything is done. So the next step is to ensure that you are flashed to the latest version. For that, you're going to load a command prompt. So Windows key plus R and then you type CMD, command prompt, like that. After that, we navigate to the Proxmark folder, CD Proxmark Win32. We need to make sure that the port number is set correctly in flash fullimage.bat. For that, we will open the notepad and edit fullimage.bat. When you are in fullimage.bat, you search for the port. So here you can see it's COM5 and we know that our port is COM3. So we change that and we save. After that, of course, we will run the flasher and follow the instruction on the screen. So press any key. And you will see that uh, it's flashing on the COM3 as we specified in a bad file. And it's flashing the latest image. So it's gonna take time. And when it's done, completely finished, you will have the latest version of your Proxmark 3 RDV2.
So now we set, we press any key. And yes, terminate the batch job. It's done. So now the last thing that we need to do is to test uh, our proxmark. For that we will uh, load a command prompt. Then we will navigate in a proxmark folder and go to cd proxmark win32 so proxmark win32 So for that we type proxmark3.exe and then the port com3 and now you can see that your proxmark is alive. If you found this video useful, please share and like it. For more tutorials about uh, Lab 401 products, I invite you to subscribe to this channel, Lab 401 Academy. Thanks for watching and see you next time.